Hey, Danger Man here. I am back at Vulcan for some more verbal abuse from winter. Because I took a lot of heat. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I have to take, wow, you know, I got, I got some props back. Mm. And he's going to tell us all about the VMAX 2 and ways in which you're not going to get from anybody else on the web. Well, first thing we've got to do is, it is the same shell. Everybody's complaining, everybody's yelling. Here's the, here's the reason. Pull this out of the box for you. In the year and a half that the VMAX 1 has been out, we have not received any broken shells whatsoever. If it isn't broke, why fix it? The shell's durable, holds 200 plus, easy. And I mean, really, I don't find it to be that unattractive as a lot of you people out there do. The whole thing about this is we want it functionality. We want it to be able to take something that you already know and be very comfortable with it right out of the box. Yes, I know VMAX 1 was kind of hit or miss for a lot of you, but we've been working on that. With the VMAX 2, it's all inside. We're going to show you how it is. Let's get to it. All right. Okay, guys, VMAX 2. If you've owned a VMAX 1 or you had a VMAX 1, the breakdown is exactly the same. So we're going to pop the door open. In the back is the rear tab. That holds the front shell, or the top shell, excuse me. Pull that forward, the top shell comes off. Move that off to the side. You see the paint plate is still the same, all right, with the front end. Pull that out. You can see the whole new internals of the paddle. All right, six blade, softer. Here's the thing. The paddle actually raises. It's spring-loaded and actually puts force on the ball stack going down. All right. Again, we're going to deal with this section in here. Just like VMAX 1, the whole tray will pop out. You can unplug the harness from the main board. We'll set that off to the side. This is the heart of the VMAX 2. Everything new is all through in here. Take our cups apart, two clips on the outside, and that separates. It is still driven by the turnstile. Other, other loaders have uh, flappers or, or eye sensors. We're still staying with the turnstile. We think we've got a pretty good handle on it. Sensor board, and again, we can unplug that also. The motor in here is new. What we did was we took a higher torque motor and lowered the RPM on it so it gives you a little bit more drive. The gearboxes, the gearing in here is all recut gears. I know we were having issues with it stripping out and having problems with it in loud gearboxes. One thing you'll notice about the VMAX 2 is it's a lot more quiet than the VMAX 1. Take this apart, Phillips screwdriver, comes apart really, really easy. Top cap comes off, you can see the screw down in it spring and the paddle system. The paddle system will come off. That's it. It is so simple and it works very, very well. We've been run testing these now. Our original prototypes were made in July of last year. Uh, two of my prototypes, well not my prototypes, but two of, two of the prototypes have been in use constantly since August of last year. Reassembly is really simple. Put the tower on. Tell us about the torque versus speed. Speed, torque is the amount of power pushing against the paddles, pushing the paddles, I should say. Uh, we went for a higher RPM, lower torque, so it didn't have as much power behind it in the VMAX 1. Uh, we were going for high speeds. It really didn't work out that well with 
the paddle systems that we had in there. I've addressed these issues online on PV Nation, all the people who had questions. You know, I, I'm still teching for VMAX 1. Uh, so if you have any problems, you know, get in touch with me, winter at valken.com. Find me on PV Nation, Valken Winter. Uh, again, really very simple. Spring goes on, top cap, cap goes on. One thing to, I have to mention when you get one of these is that you will have to tighten this down a bit. We were seeing in testing a little bit of rollout with it. Okay. You don't have to go super tight with it, but just tight enough where you'll feel it engage. Tell us why this uh, new, new, uh, this new torque or paddle system, this uh, clutch is better. What is, uh, what is the improvement? The improvement is, is that if you're starting off with a gun down position or your gun's behind you or your gun's off to the side, what we were having was we were having problems getting paint to go down to activate the turn style. Uh, what happened on the old four blade propellers is you'd get a dead spot in it, you'd have to hit the on button or the ready button and recycle the paint down through the neck. With this, load your paint, tap your button, tap it again if you feel the need, and what's going to happen is this is going to preload. So in other words, you're going to have pressure put against the ball stack, and that is going to in turn make that turnstile spin. Uh, it is an anti-jam in a certain respect that if paint does jam in it, this will, now I can't grab it, this will come up, you'll hear it click, well of course it's not going to do it, but it'll click and pop back down. All right, hit the button, clear your jam, it does not go in reverse, it goes up over the jam paint. It also takes a little bit of stress off of it when it pops. We've been running these now for eight months and I have not had one jam on me due to a motor failure or a paddle failure. I've had them jam on me during, for swollen paint, broken paint, um, but the system itself is deceivingly simple. So in the absence of any abnormalities, it's running perfect? Absolutely. Uh, I run this on all my equipment. I have been for the past few months. I've had teammates running it. I've had D1, D2 players running them. Uh, very quietly, and uh, everybody seems to really, really get, you know, they really like the feel of it, they like the lightness of it. Go on resem uh, reassembly here. Yeah. Okay, sensor board, turnstile. Remember, your turnstile has four magnets on it. You can see that? The magnets always face the sensor board. Plugging the harness back in, make sure it clicks. Any special instructions, to, any warnings about how not to brake? No, nothing really. I mean, it's very simple. It's really robust. You know, we, we, we kept the same materials that we used on VMAX 1. After watching, at, watching the VMAX 1, yes, we knew, again, there was problems with it, but the materials that we used for the VMAX 1, for the shell, for the cups, for all the re retaining parts in it, they all were just so robust and really took a beating. Trust me, I kicked around a couple of these things. All right, line up your cup. Price point? 99 bucks. 99, buy three. And of course it's going to be cranky. This is about the hardest thing you're going to do is line that up. So, again, we have our tray back together with the paddle system. Very simple. We're going to pull our lower in. Now, this is the fun part. You don't have to take out your main board, but if you're not used to doing this, get a little bend on the wiring. So just there. It's plugged in. Make sure the cup is seated down in there. You see where the two points go in. 
lock it in, put your paint tray back in, and again, you'll feel it slots in the back, slot on the front. You always want to make sure the paint tray has this nice angle on it, helps with the feed rate. We're going to keep the top off of this for now. We did keep, because you guys asked for it, we did keep the screw in the battery door. And everybody asked for this, why? Um, a lot of players feel a little bit more comfortable with the screw in it because they're out there tossing stuff around, banging into bunkers, diving off rocks, throwing themselves out of aircraft, whatever you're doing. But a lot of people want that screw in there for a little extra security just in case they bang around and their batteries fall out. Personally, I've never had that happen to me. Yes, it is two 9 volts. Two 9 volts. It's the same. The electronics packages are the same in VMAX 1 and VMAX 2. And again, your activation button. And on off is essentially leave it go for... On off is turn it on, you tap the button once, you're on. To turn it off, press and hold it for three to four seconds, you're off. All right? Now, everybody's telling me, well, it eats batteries. It's a lot of power in this little motor. What I suggest you do and what I always do, and I've done this for years, is take your batteries out at the end of the play day, flip them, and that's it. You're ready for storage. You know, it, it, it's, it does eat batteries, not to the point of what some people make it out to be, but as you can see in here, So, we're going to put stress on the ball. Actually, ta -da -da, we have paint. So what we're looking to do here is preload it like that. Right now, the paint that's under my finger is under pressure. In an off position, will the paint continue to roll through this? In an off position? Yeah. It depends. If the, uh, if the paddles are in the right position, it will roll through. But this should be ready to go. And it isn't. <laughs> All right, we got the top on. Put some paint in here. Yeah, I'm going to get yelled at. But, load it. All right, I want to thank our resident rock star, Gun Tech. You got it right. Thank you. I'm uh, getting so much better at this. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> winter. Schooling has paid off. <laughs> um, for giving us the inside skinny on the VMAX 2. And if you're looking for one of these, you're not going to find it at Walmart. As we said in our previous uh, little video, if you've seen it, if you haven't checked, if you haven't checked it out, you want to buy from a paintball store. Um, yes, buy these on the internet if you have to, but get, you know, make if you can seek them out at a paintball shop or a paintball field or paintball store first. It's too much for any man. <laughs>